hello community i hope you are doing good in this discussion we will see how to add header in the form view plus we will also add some buttons in the header part of the form view and in case you missed previous discussion about how to use sheet and the group tag in the form view and what is the purpose you can see the link is given in the description plus uh, if you want to learn more about odoo with the different topics you can just go to here in the playlist and here you can see and here you can see different types of playlist also available related to odoo and this is the main playlist here so if you are following this one then you don't need to follow any other odoo related playlist and apart from this you can see here two new playlists also available the python tips and editor related tips and if you have any doubt related Odoo and any other stuff, you can just go to about page and here you can shoot your query to this email address. Plus you can also support using these two channels. Also you can support this channel using this join button. So let's back to our main topic like how we can add header part in the form view. First thing is like what is the header part in the form view so simply we are going to in sales order and you can see this is the header part of this form view so like how we can add this header part in our student profile let's say here let's say here so right now you can see we have like this beautiful design like as we discussed in our last session how you can also do like this way now we will see how to add the header part plus like these buttons all right so let me go to here in the pie charm in editor in let me open here the form view okay so this is our form view here So here like simply what we need to do is like you can see here like after you apply this tag using this tag you can see here we have like left and right side we have some space plus it's look like this beautiful page like here you can see. So using that tag we can do this stuff like this way plus if you want to add the header part then you have to use before this tag if you applied already. So and plus Bef uh, after this form tag so let's say here we have to add like header as a tag and in this tag using this tag like at least we have to provide here any selection field or any buttons all right so don't forget this one otherwise what happened like it it won't be display the header part here so let me restart and uh, let me upgrade the module like this way and you can see I already configured here in in this editor like this so each and every time I don't need to go to in terminal and it will automatically restart the service plus it will automatically upgrade the module now I'm going to here in the front end side and refresh the patch of so yes you can see here right now we didn't add anything in the header part so simply what what happened here it like it's invisible right now so let me add some buttons here all right here in this header part so simply like we we, we are using existing form view uh, using this buttons let me copy this one and let me paste here so let me uncomment here and so perfect so we have like uh, four types of buttons available here like as you can see here and uh, let me try to so yeah so you can see here like right now i'm trying to upgrade the module like this way so if you want to learn more about this editor related tips like how i what i did the same thing like you have to also perform the same operations like this way uh, it's already available in the playlist all right uh, let, like you can see here like total four buttons available here 
so let me refresh the page now you can see we have this buttons also available in the header part plus the header is also visible here so this way like header is working and the main purpose of the header is if you want to perform any actions using these buttons or if, if you want to display any status in the header part it is also possible like this way you can see simply in the left hand side you are just trying to perform specific operations here and right hand side you can see this is the status of this order right now it's in quotation stat here right so you can see here there are three three status display here we will see this status bar like how we can add the status bar here like this way uh, we will see this discussion in our next topic so just wait for this one now like let's say if you want to add like this attractive buttons not the simple one as you can see here we have like this buttons like the simple buttons so if you want to add some attractive buttons like this it is also possible uh, using the bootstrap classes if you know bootstrap classes it would be good for you otherwise like if you want to always copy paste those classes so simply like i'm going to editor and now you can see here uh, there is no any class provided here right so simply i'm using like class equal to in double quote like btn then after dask primary and here also like i'm using different class name but not here but in the last one like class equal to like here i have to use any another class like oe highlight and simply like i will restart the service plus upgrade the module and simply i'm going to in front end side and refresh the patch like you can see these two buttons and this style button having some different right so like this way you can use such attractive buttons here in the header part I hope you understood this concept like how you can add header part plus the buttons here in the form view right so I hope you understood this discussion like how to add header in the form view plus how you can also add buttons in the header part so if you have any doubt related to this topic please comment below and see you in next session and our next session should be like how you can also add status bar here